Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed three important types of uh, quadrilateral, let us start discussing parallelogram in more detail. So we will talk about the properties of parallelogram. So as I mentioned before in parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal. That is this is equal to this. Again, let's name this that makes it easier. So when we say opposite sides are equal, we mean AB is equal to CD and also AD is equal to BC. Opposite angles are also equal. That is angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. Adjacent angles are supplementary. That is sum of the adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree. Now two angles are said to be supplementary if their sum is equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that looking at this picture angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree or we can say angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree or we can say angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So any two adjacent angles, their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. Diagonals bisect each other. So if you draw the diagonals of a parallelogram, so one diagonal divides it into two triangles. Now if you draw both the diagonals, you see that the diagonals bisect each other. Now when I say bisect each other, that means they meet at a point such that this point divides the diagonal into two equal halves. So basically this will be equal to this or this will be equal to this. So when we say diagonals bisect each other, that would mean AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. So that is the meaning of bisection. So when, when a line is bisecting another line, that means it is dividing that line into two equal halves. So these are the properties of a parallelogram. So now we will spend some time trying to prove each of these properties because I just told you that these are the properties but why should you trust me just like that? So let us try to mathematically prove each of these properties. So let us start with opposite sides are equal. How do we know that opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal? So now in order to prove this that the opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal what we would do is we would draw a diagonal to this parallelogram and also let us name the parallelogram. Let's say this is A, B, C, D a parallelogram where B, D is a diagonal. So now what do we do? Now we will compare these two triangles. So let's see triangle a, B, D and triangle B, C, D. So in these two triangles, what do we see? Now in a parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are parallel. That is why it is a parallelogram, right? So let's also name these angles. Let us call this angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. Now since these two sides, since A, B is parallel to C, D, so that is something which is known to us because that is a part of the definition that parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel. Now since they are parallel, therefore angle 1 will be equal to angle 4, right? The angle 1 and angle 4 will be equal. Similarly, angle 2 would be equal to angle 3 because BC is also parallel to AD. And when you compare these two triangles, you see that BD is equal to BD, which is a common side. Now, considering these three parameters, what do you see? That two angles and one side are equal for both these two triangles. Now, as per our knowledge on congruency of triangles, we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD. By which rule? This would be ASA, that is angle side angle congruency, where two angles and a side included by these angles are 
equal in both the triangles. So therefore these two triangles are congruent. Now whenever two triangles are congruent then all their corresponding sides and all their corresponding angles are also equal. Now since these two triangles now this triangle and this triangle are congruent therefore this angle A will be equal to this angle C. Therefore angle A would be equal to angle C that is opposite angles would be equal and also AB would be equal to CD that is opposite sides will be equal. So this is what we wanted to prove that opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal and we proved it. Let us now try to prove that opposite angles are also equal. In fact, we almost proved it in the uh, previous slide. But, so, but okay, let's see it once again. So again, let's name the parallelogram. It's A, B, C, D. We draw a diagonal AC. Let's also name these angles. Let's say this is angle 1, this is angle 2, this is angle 3 and this is angle 4. Now, what are the things that we know? We know by definition of parallelogram that AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD. This is something which is known to us and we want to prove that angle B is equal to angle D. They are the opposite angles. So we want to prove that angle B is equal to angle D. So what do we do? Again we compare triangles ABC and triangle ADC. And we find that since AB and CD are parallel to each other, therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Since BC and AD are parallel to each other, therefore angle 3 is equal to angle 4. And AC is equal to AC which is a common side. So therefore considering these three parameters, we see that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC by ASA congruency. Now since these two triangles are congruent therefore their corresponding angles are also equal therefore angle B is equal to angle D. Now in case you have any questions in your mind like this that okay these two triangles are congruent by why, but why did angle D become equal to angle B? That's because if you look at the other angles Angle 1 is already equal to angle 2. Angle 4 is already equal to angle 3. So you are just left with one angle in this triangle which is angle B. And you are left with one angle in this triangle which is angle D. So therefore angle B will be equal to angle D which are nothing but the opposite angles of the parallelogram. So this proves that the opposite angles are equal. So let's now try to prove that the adjacent angles are supplementary. That is sum of the adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. So for this again we consider this parallelogram. Let us label it as A, B, C, D. And here again we draw a diagonal AC. Let's also label the angles. Let's call this angle 1, this angle 2, this is angle 3 and this is angle 4. So now let us look at, let us consider any one triangle. Let us say we consider the triangle ACD. Now we know that sum of the three angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore we can say angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Right? Now when you look at this, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. That's because this side and this side, AB is parallel to CD. Therefore angle 1 will be equal to angle 2, alternate angles. Right? So instead of angle 1, we can very well write it as angle 2 plus angle 4 plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Now what is angle 2 plus angle 4? That is nothing but angle A. Therefore, angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. And what are these? Angle A and angle D are nothing but adjacent angles. So this angle and this angle, these are adjacent angles. The sum of the adjacent angles is 180 degree. Therefore, they are supplementary. In a similar way, you can also prove that angle D plus angle C is also equal to 180 degrees. And that's again very simple. Like what we had written here. Angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Now instead of writing angle 1 as angle 2, we can also write angle 4 
this angle is equal to angle 3. So instead of angle 4, we can write it as angle 3 plus angle D is equal to 180. Now angle 1 plus angle 3 is nothing but angle C. So we prove that angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the sum of any two adjacent angles in a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. Let's move on to the fourth property of the parallelogram that the diagonals bisect each other. So for this again we have considered this parallelogram A, B, C, D and here again we will draw the diagonal. Now this time we will draw both the diagonals and let us mark this point where the two diagonals meet as point O. So what are we trying to prove here in in this case, we want to prove that the diagonals bisect each other. That means the diagonals intersect at a point such that each diagonal gets divided into two equal halves. So we want to prove that AO is equal to OC and BO is equal to OD. So this is what we want to prove. So for that again, let us consider these two triangles, angle AO, triangle AOD and triangle BOC because these are the two triangles which involve these parts AO, OC, DO and BO and also let us mark, name these angles. Let's call this angle 1, this is angle 2, this is angle 3 and this is angle 4 just to make our uh, derivation easier. Now in these two triangles, if you try to find out something which are equal, what do you see? The first thing that you see is AD is equal to BC. That's because opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. So that's something which we already proved. Now opposite sides equal. Next thing that we see is angle 2 is equal to angle 3. This angle equal to this angle because these are alternate angles and we know that in a parallelogram AD is equal to BC or opposite sides are parallel. In a similar way angle 1 will be equal to angle 4 that is also because AD is equal to BC. AD is parallel to BC. Now if you look at these three criteria what do you see that one side and two angles are equal for both the triangles. Therefore, you can say that triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC by ASA congruency. Now, once these two triangles are congruent, then what happens? Their corresponding parts also become equal. Therefore, what happens? DO is equal to BO and AO is equal to OC and that is what we wanted to prove. So we can say hence proved. So therefore we very clearly proved that the diagonals in a parallelogram always bisect each other. So till now we have discussed about the properties of parallelograms. In fact the four major properties of a parallelogram and we have also proved them. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.